Hey guys, what's up? Money here, and um, as you can see, I couldn't stay away from the computer for long. Um, <clears throat> I basically decided that um, I'm gonna not leave you guys hanging till January um, quite yet. I wanted to do a little video on how to get through finals um, because I think I've not necessarily mastered it, but I get stressed out just like you do. And I have little tips and little things that help me get through what um, a stressful time is, especially during the holiday time. This particular final like semester is the worst. The spring semester isn't so bad, but then again you have like the... Um, you want to get out, you want to spend time at the beach, you know, it's summer, it's warm, so it's give and take. But I think this semester is a lot worse, um, just because of the holidays. So, here's the first thing I would tell you guys to do. Breathe. Breathing is, first of all, a key essential to living your life, and um, if you don't breathe, you're not going to live. And if you don't take deep breaths throughout the stressful time period, you're going to get way too worked up. Anxiety is going to build, and you're not going to be able to calm yourself. I'll give you guys a short um, statement. Um, your brain uh, functioning is thought uh, by Freud, who's a famous psychologist, to be run in uh, three sectors. The id, the um, superego, and in the middle is the ego. Um... The id and the superego kind of falter between the angel and the devil type. And when, you know, the superego and the id are not in conjunction, one's like, study, 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 and there's like, party, 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 you get anxiety. And that goes on on a subconscious level, which may actually reciprocate to your conscious level and produce your body to have anxious feelings and you're not really, you know, obviously there's conscious reasons, but, you know, your mind is also fighting those subconscious battles. And it's not necessarily, um, that kind of stuff. It's more hidden things, but I think it really does, um, affect you on the conscious level. Enough of my nerdy psychological, um, explanation. Um, the next thing I recommend you guys to do is to study. You have to study, you have to look over stuff. If you have a test or you have um, a class that you're just like, there's no way I'm going to pass this final, I recommend this. Skim the chapters. Don't spend so much time on those if you know you're just not going to do well um, or there's no chance of you doing well. Um, skim the chapters, uh, every one of them, get the idea, there's usually a summary at the end of every chapter, read that, um, so, that's a good example of something you can do. Um, more so fashion and beauty wise, I would recommend that you keep your beauty regimen at a minimum, because you're going to be stressed out, you're going to be breaking out everywhere, and, um, you should be continuing to exfoliate and using, um, creams and whatever it is that you guys use, moisturize every day, um, to prevent, um, breakouts from stress. Um, this time of year, you're going to get dry skin no matter where you live. I live in South Carolina, I live in New York. I had dry skin this time of year for both places. So moisturizing is going to help you with that um, and get you less stressed out with your face. Um, tone down on like the bronzing and the tanning. Um, I think this time of year is probably the best uh, time to just kind of get rid of that. Um, because it's not really, <clears throat> I mean, it's holiday time, yeah, you want to look good, New Year's, you want to look good, but, you know what, tone it down now, everyone, it's winter, and that's just how I, I feel about that topic. Um, next, uh, a good thing you can do is stay true to your style during this time. Um, but, segueing into that, I kind of wanted to talk about, um, dressing up still. Um. I think it was the Long Beach Unified School District in sometime in the 90s that um, implemented a dress code and they had their study that said that um, the dress code created a uh, environment for better education, um, higher test scores, etc. Um, the school I went to also felt that way, that if you were going to come to school dressed properly and ready to go and ready to work, not in, you know, sweatpants and all that stuff, 
you're going to do better, and you're going to have, you know, a better um, outlook on yourself, and then it'll portray into your schoolwork, your tests. Um, I didn't believe that at first, but then, you know what, I started to see the difference that when I went to school dressed up, I was kind of like, you know what, I look way more professional than all these people, and you know what, it's great to see your, that, great for your professors to see how you look, and, um, like I said, that may help you in a job field later on, so you never know who you're going to meet, so, um, dressing up is cool. However, um, this is a time that I'm going to relax my dress, um, a little bit, because... It's finals time. That does not mean sweatpants. What I mean by going, staying true to yourself is finding something, some type of style that you can call your own. Especially during this time. Um, look in magazines. Look online. Um, if you guys kind of haven't done this already, that's cool. But I'll give you guys a basic outfit that, you know what, you may have in your closet. Or you may not have in your closet. You may want to go get something just to treat yourself. I know when I, uh, um, my next thing is if you are so stressed out during this time, you should definitely go get yourself an item. Get yourself a gift, whether it's a $4 nail polish or a $60 pair of jeans, whatever you can afford. Go get yourself a gift because you've been stressing, you deserve it. You need something to kind of be like, you know what, yes, I did this. I accomplished this. After you're done studying for that psych test, go get yourself a nail polish. Go get yourself dinner. Whatever it is that you want to do. But back to the dress anyway. Um, I grew up dressed in sweatpants because I played sports and I was just used to it. But here's the thing. I don't wear sweatpants anymore. <clears throat> I can't do it and I know it's unacceptable to be wearing to school or out anywhere other than maybe to like the supermarket or your house. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've kind of come up with an outfit. Um, you've seen both these pieces before. They're in my closet. They're easy. They were go -to, they're go-to pieces and um... I'm just going to be wearing one of them a different way for you guys. Um, I just want to show you. And this is where that thing in January comes in about me posting, getting a better view of my outfits and stuff. This is not going to be where I'm going to be doing it anymore, trust me. Um, so this is the outfit. Just a T plain oversized tee, this on my love quote scarf, which is my statement, staple, staple, ugh, staple for the season, this season coming up, um, and then a great boyfriend jeans. Honestly, um, let me tell you something about boyfriend jeans. Um, they're meant to be worn like I had in my first video, um, they're meant to be worn like I had them in the first video. And with the rolls and the cuff. But honestly, like, this gives it, like, a kind of, like, relaxed, hippie, like, edgier style to it. Like, like I like it both ways. I like wearing them both ways. So, kind of, it's up to you guys. But I feel very comfortable in these jeans. I uh, also feel like I kind of thought about what I was going to wear before I went to school. Which is kind of cool because it took me two seconds to throw on a t-shirt and jeans and... Um, this scarf and rock out of the house, you know what I mean? So, anyway, this is definitely and most officially my last video before the new year. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> um, I keep saying that, but I feel like I'm going to keep recording videos. Um, so, have fun with finals. Make it interesting. Make it great. It, you only have college once in your life, so enjoy it. And study, 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 because you're not going to pass unless you study. It's just, unless you're, like, the uber genius, and, you know what I mean? I'm pretty smart, and I still can't go without studying, so. Anyway, um, I'm leaving now. Peace and love. Money out. Bye, guys.